All right, right now, people, I'm in Mike GLC. We sold 210,000 CDs on the streets of the UK by himself, independently with a street team. He's been dub plate drama, a couple of series of that. He's got nothing's going on. He's got a new cartoon coming out soon as well, a comic strip coming as well. So I'm just going to have, have a chat with him, yeah? Mm. What's happening, brother? Yeah, right. Yeah, man. Cool, bro. So, what's what's been going on with you at the moment? Um, just then, um, obviously, the new mixtape. We last had a damn breed. Ruthless Records. Yeah, for that, we got my boy Ruthless. We've done already. Yeah. Got my favorite piece of work so far. I'll have to tell you. That. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. We got the magazine, industry magazine. For the industry magazine. Yeah. yeah. This has just come out. This has been out for about two weeks. And we're just doing the, the you know the street team thing at the moment. Down okay. The country promoting it. Yep. We're doing Bristol, uh, Bath, all down there, down there this weekend. We're gonna do Sheffield, and Nottingham, and all that for the weekend. So basically, just getting the magazine out there. Mhm. Mm just trying to get some momentum behind it. Um, I had the guys in West End today. I got some guys in Brighton today as well. So yeah, that's what we're trying to do right now. Promote the magazine. See. So what's the um, what's the magazine got there? That, like, wh how did you come up with the idea to do the magazine and everything? Mm. Or was it feature? I did the truth uh, last year. I had a bit of time on my hands. Went to sort out a few things. And I've always run it. I've always had the modern agency. Like for years, I was supplying girls for videos. Yeah. Supplying girls for Westlife, Liberty Extra, Mirror Pride, Beverly Night, etc., etc., etc. I also supplied girls for the Heartless Crew video. I don't know if you remember the Heartless. Mm -hmm. Hey Hundred and sixty girls just played for that. So, but I've also looked at the industry as well. There's not very much money, in it. so I wanted to create something which I could use the girls. I know I ain't really getting that much money for wanting to model. Mm. Give them a platform that they can go and get some proper money on so mm. we came up with a magazine um, and also like the magazine tackles a lot of issues to do with music, the music industry in itself and you've got articles in there about you know famous with no money yeah as UK urban music pay the bills and kind of breaking down you know staying this is probably the only artist who gets makes any money from the industry mm -hmm. um, you know we've got articles in there about who really is the greatest MC at the time yeah little paint system to how it's worked out. Yep. You can for the ladies to yeah. different types of girls you might meet over the summer. Okay. So it's, it's, few, it's, it's not just the girls, but we've got the girls in there and the girls from all over the country, Bristol, yeah. Wales, Cardiff, London, Northampton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're just trying to Trying to do something different. I mean, everyone started doing the CD thing, so I think maybe the, the magazine is the next, yeah, yeah. next phase. Really. So, are you going to put that in the shops as well, that magazine, or is it right now just a street yeah, thing? Yeah, right now, right now, we'll, put it this way, we've got distribution lined up for it. Yeah. But I think the moment I start really trying to put it into the shops is going to be the moment that I lose some control over it. Oh, okay. So, I think right now, I'm just trying to get my vision out there. Yeah. And if I can sell. You know, a certain amount, then I'm, 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 I'm in a good place. And then after that, we start to look about distribution and getting into the shops. But right now, we're at a point just trying to prove the idea is going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, see. Okay, okay. And you did, did that plate drama, the series, was it series three, yeah, or series four? Series three. Okay, okay. Mm. I forget about that sometimes. Yeah. I remember that too as well. I forget about that sometimes. So, how did you get involved with double plate drama and everything? I got to big up my boy Luke, Luke Harris. Yeah. My brother. Um, Luke saw one of my videos a few years back. I wanted to put me in the double plate drama. And it worked out. I've done, I also done uh, another series called um, Kate Modern with like Ralph Little, Lucinda, No Clark. Um, it was a Bebo sponsored series. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but he just Luke just brought me into the to, into the thing really. And yeah, it's going it's, it's going all right. I mean, so what what kind of parts you've been playing? Is it um you playing Errol in it in dub play yeah, drama? You're some crazy guy in it. What? Like Errol er, 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 he's in conflict with himself. He wants to be a good guy. Mm -hmm. but he's having problems doing that. Let's see. Um, yeah, so he's just he, you know, just basically he's in constant conflict with himself. So how was that doing the series? Was it was it a lot of hard work? Was it fun or what? Yeah, no, it was a matter of just getting to the point where we're taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. you know, I think at first, especially in the second series, I wasn't taking it as seriously as I did this one. Mm -hmm. And I think this one I'm more 
more trying to actually do the job mm. that he's put in front of me rather than just trying to turn up to sit and have a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so would it, would it be Series 4 as well, your character be making an appearance in there? Or? Um, I, don't, I don't know, we don't know yet. Yes. I mean, I don't, if you saw the end of the other series. It's like who shot JR in it kind yeah, of thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's that type of thing right now. I feel See. The end the yeah, yeah. Like you don't know if I die or if I lose that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm scared a little talk. See. I need to tell people I don't die, but... Now, the first thing you need to know is... Let's see what happens. Yeah. Happens. Still, still. Okay, okay. So, like, you've done the, the, the CDs on the street, 210,000. Like, obviously, that's a massive achievement for an independent artist and whatnot. Is there advice you want to give to any any other artists out there, like, about the music thing in the UK, the urban thing, or whatever they call it? Right now, I think we're in a state of emergency as far as music's concerned, yeah. Like... <laughs> you, in order to do music, if it's music they want to do, they're going to have to calm down. That's just the reality of whether man like it or not. People are going to have to show us getting shot, stabbed, and no one ain't making enough money for that. Yeah. You know, I've done the CD thing by going from place to place, being humble, reaching out, trying to network with other people. Mm -hmm. So I'd say the biggest, the biggest thing I can tell anyone right now, if it's music you're doing, Calm down. If it's not music you're doing, it's fuck off and go and do something else.